The UFC's middleweight division is quickly becoming one of the most exciting in the promotion. After a recent shakeup in the rankings, following Israel Adesanya's loss to Sean Strickland and the introduction of Hamza Chimaev to the weight class, we have plenty of future fights to look forward to. One fight that has been teased on various occasions is a showdown between the former champ Adesanya and Chimaev. But if these two shared the octagon, how would the fight go down? Join us in this video as we dive into a deep breakdown and discuss what will happen if these two meet inside the octagon. Be sure to stick around until the end to get our official prediction. A potential fight between Israel Adesanya and Hamza Chimaev seems destined to happen now that the Wolf has dedicated himself to the middleweight division. While it's unlikely that we'll see Adesanya return to the division anytime soon, a potential fight in the future could see these two battle it out for the next shot at the title. But before we give you our prediction, let's first look at each fighter's strengths and weaknesses, starting with Adesanya. Strength number one, striking. On his best evening, it wouldn't be a stretch to suggest that Israel Adesanya is currently the best striker in modern MMA. His ability to select shots, coupled with his power and accuracy, have allowed him to finish 20 fighters thus far in his career. Izzy is also a master of range control, which enables him to set the tone for his fights. Strength number two. Fight IQ. Izzy was a champion for over three years in the UFC, and this wasn't solely the result of his striking. The former champ has one of the best fight IQs in the game. His movement, positioning, feints, and setups allow him to effortlessly break down his opponents as he counters from all angles. Izzy's ability to convince a fighter that they are in range to strike before he beats them to the shot is truly remarkable to watch. With that being said about Izzy's strength, let's discuss one weakness that may bleed through in a fight against Hamza, wrestling defense. As Izzy was a latecomer to the sport of MMA following a largely successful kickboxing career, wrestling was never going to be his best attribute. While he's been able to rely on his striking and stop grapplers from imposing a takedown at will, this may not work against a top tier wrestler such as Hamza. Now that we have discussed Izzy's strengths and weaknesses, let's move on to Hamza. Strength number one. Wrestling. Hamzad's wrestling capabilities are feared inside the octagon. His ability to take down any opponent and control them on the ground has made him one of the scariest fighters in the UFC today. In a fight against someone like Adesanya, if Hamzad can grab hold of Izzy and employ his grappling expertise, the fight could be over in a matter of minutes. Strength number two, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Hamzad is not only an elite grappler, he's also an impressive submission artist. However, he doesn't rush things. The Chechen is happy to stay in a dominant position, and only when his opponents turn desperate will we see him begin to work in a rear naked or Das choke. We've already seen him maul two opponents in the UFC by way of a Das choke, and if given the opportunity, he won't hesitate to thread his arm around opponent's neck. And from here, there's no escape. With that being said, let's talk about a weakness that may become apparent in a fight against Izzy. Overconfidence. In the fight against Gilbert Burns, he decided to stand and bang with the Brazilian, which nearly cost him the fight. If he were to try and prove that he could outstrike Adesanya, this could end horribly for the Chechen. Now, with that being said about Hamzad's strengths and weaknesses, it's time for our official prediction. But before we do that, we hold a monthly shout-out on our channel. And all you need to do to enter is comment I sub in the comments section below. So make sure to comment and you'll have a chance of winning. There's no denying a potential fight between Izzy and Hamza could result in an instant classic, but both fighters are experts in their chosen style, and whoever shows up that evening will ultimately decide who leaves victorious. However, if these two were to face off inside the octagon, we would have to say that Adesanya leaves victorious by a way of a decision in the fifth round after a technical striking masterclass. 